Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and today's show is presented by Black Sunday Shop. Head on over to blacksundayshop.com. Use code Mitch where you can save 20% off on Raiders gear if you actually still want it. Now, this is going to be a post-game reaction show to the Week 14 performance after a 48-9 drubbing. Kansas City took their ball sack, put it inside the Raiders' mouth, and teabagged them the entire game. This is one of the worst games I have ever seen by the Raiders. Rich Basaccia, Greg Olson, the entire Raiders team should be ashamed of themselves. If they got paid for this game, they should donate it to charity because they don't deserve to get paid after this one. If you and I were to show up to work and put in that type of performance, we want to get paid, to be honest, we'd probably get fired. And this is why I tweeted at Mitchell Renz 365 it's time to clean house. It's really as simple as that. And I wanted to hope for something different, but you started 3-0. and Now it's been 3-7 and since that 3-0 and start. And you could make the argument right now the Raiders are a bottom five NFL team. Since that week nine bye, offensively, defensively, special teams, third down, red zone conversion is bottom five in the NFL. So what I want you guys to do right now is be honest with me because my one word reaction to this Raiders performance is clean house. And it's not even a one word reaction, but that's what it is. If you one word reaction, I want every person that comes across this video right now to spam clean house, to tweet at the Raiders clean house, put on Instagram at clean house because that was the worst, most disgraceful performance I have seen by a team wearing silver and black in a long time. Raider Nation deserves so much better. Now, if you guys do still want to be able to hook up your family, friends, or Raiders fans, what I want you to do is go to blacksundayshop.com, use code Mitch, where you get some Raiders gear up to 20% off. Whether you need sweatshirts, shirts, hats, beanies, all that good stuff, we got you covered. That link is going to be available for you all in the comments and in the description. If you spend over $100, you also get a free bandana with your order. If you spend over $200, you get a free cinch bag and two patches over $200, blacksundayshop.com. All right, we got some super chats on here. I'm going to give you guys some love. Shout out to Johnny Sylvia. Let's go to Bad Influence. I think I got to get my Raiders tattoo covered up. Ha -ha. No, don't do that. Please don't do that. I'm still thinking about where I want my Raiders tattoo. I'm thinking on my thigh. That's what I'm thinking. Let's go to Chev Silver Raider. Much love to Chev Silver Raider. There's a lot of excitement going on here. In the background, which I appreciate, but hey, at the end of the day, we're we're getting wild. Let's go to let's go to the next one coming in from Raymond Ramirez. Can't wait to see the press conference. The press conference is going to be the biggest waste of time that you've ever seen. If you spend your time watching Raiders press conferences, then you're better off watching paint dry because it's going to be Derek Carr saying, "Oh, I thought we had the right plays, but we didn't execute well." Greg Olson, Rich Basaccia, they're going to come up with excuses. If you love excuses, watch Raiders post-game conferences. That's what you need to do. Let's go to Venthrak. Mitch, thanks for all uh, this team do. Love the everyday coverage. I don't know what the future holds. I know what the future holds. It's going to be a cleaning house time. Mike Mayock probably going to get cleaned out. Rich Basaccia gone. Greg Olson gone. Love Bradley, but he's going to end up leaving as well. Brand new head coach. Brand new quarterback, get ready for a whole new Raiders team in 2022. And we're going to be keeping you updated here at Raiders Report. Let's go to Jack Bishop. Win, lose, or draw, Raiders till I die. It's actually win, lose, or tie. That's how the rhyme works, Jack. But it's all good. Much love to you. Appreciate you watching. Let's go to Ty Davis. People keep blaming Carr. It's the whole damn team. You're right. It is the whole damn team. But the reason why Carr gets more blame, and this is the thing that I want to be able to put into Derek Carr stands heads. When your quarterback is paid a lot of money, and I'm not saying Carr is paid that much in terms of quarterback play, but the reason why it's time to move on from D.C. is because if you extend him, you're going to have to pay him $25 million a year. And what we've seen is if you don't have a complete team around Carr, this team is not good. They cannot win games. And if you were making the playoffs, if you were making deep playoff runs with Carr, it's a different conversation. You've never won a playoff game underneath D.C. So what the time to do is now, 
clean house, move it away, build around a young rookie quarterback, and it's time to start something new. Al Davis, what he always did was go for the home run. He went all in everything he did. If you keep Derek Carr, you're going for singles. I'm done going for singles. I'm done going for me mediocre 500 seasons. The fan base deserves better, and if you want to change, you got to go in. If it doesn't work, okay, you're back to where we were today because there is a no world that I live in where you can watch a 48-9 to game and go to bed that night and say, you know what, we got to keep D.C. No, get the F out of here. Now, I want you guys to be the judge. Rate the Raiders' offense against the Chiefs from a scale from 0 to 100. The answer to this, and I hope everyone types it, it's 0. I know you scored a touchdown, but I don't give a shit. The offensive game plan here for the Raiders was disgraceful. The first play of the game, Josh Jacob fumbled, got returned for a touchdown. You're down 35 to nothing, 35 to nothing. You're finally in the red zone. You're close to being able to score, and the coaching staff decides to kick a field goal, at least put three points up on the board. You know what that is? That is the most equivalent thing I've ever seen to a participation trophy. Basaccia, Greg Olson, the entire coaching staff should not be allowed to go to Henderson next week. Let's go to Gilbert. Love the show, man. Please don't give up. I'm never going to give up. And, and it's not even giving up on the Raiders. I will never give up on Raider Nation. I root for the Shield. I root for the fans. And this is why I don't do certain things for players because they show up today. They didn't give a shit about this team. I do. And I know you guys do too. Let's go to David Zahn. Well, this game was one for the books. F it. I got nothing other than that. You're right. And you shouldn't have anything besides that. It's just one of those things where you're like, you know what? It was a bad game. It was a bad game from the start. But from what I saw, it was a team that did not show up and a team that gave up. When you have those two things and they work together, it's bad coaching and players not being motivated. That is the prime example game that it is time to clean house because you were 6-6, six and six, you still have a chance to make the playoffs. When a performance like that goes on, I don't want those guys on my team. Get them the hell out of here. Let's go to Victor Morales. Hey, Mitch, if we could draft a quarterback, who would you draft? What I want you to do, Victor, is go ahead and watch my Derek Carr replacements video where I rank the top five quarterbacks that I think the Raiders should go out and draft. I'm not going to give out names because I want you to go ahead and check out the content that we give out for free every single day here at the Raiders Report. Now, if you've already watched it, shout out to you if you haven't. Probably means you're not subscribed. We're trying to get to 100,000 subs. I want to be the very first Raiders channel, not the, the actual Raiders YouTube channel, to get to 100K subs. It would be a major accomplishment for me around here, and I know the nation has always been a great fan base, has always been able to support me. So if you're looking for free videos, news, rumors, hot takes, tomorrow's show is something you're not going to want to miss. Hit that sub button. Let's go to Erica. What up, girl? CBS kicked off the Raiders game five minutes ago and put the Browns game. How sad is that? I don't blame them. At the end of the day, you got to think. Me, when I make this show, it's a business. CBS, it's a business. You have to be able to put food on the table and a roof over your head, and CBS made a business decision to take the Raiders off because they didn't deserve to be on television. Let's go to I'm Sylvia 4081 I'm car sick. I'm car sick. I'm all sorts of sick. I was actually a little bit drunk when I came on today's show from the crazy watch party that we had, but I sobered up real quick. When you look at that 48-9 to score, that sobers you up real quick go to the imposter I've always liked Carr but man it's time to move on from him can he also be coaching staff sweep off I mean it's it again it has nothing so much to do with just DC you can't put the blame on DC if you see people doing it they didn't watch the game and I don't really think they're that intelligent but you got to change it up and that's really what it's about it's about changing it up going for the home run instead of trying to hit singles let's go to David's on again hot take this team is currently ah uh, man I can't read that because the camera just isn't good enough Balls in my mouth is the hashtag. Hashtag balls in my mouth. You know what, David? I'm not going to put any balls in my mouth, but I will put some fireball in my mouth for that $50 super chat. So cheers to David. Cheers to everyone still watching. What up, Daryl? He just typed F yeah. I don't know what the F yeah stands for. I don't know what it is for, but I appreciate you still tuning in and supporting me and supporting kind of this Raiders team here. So... We already talked about the offense. Next thing is talking about the Raiders' defense. So if you guys could grade the Raiders' defense against the Chiefs, A, B, C, D, or F. I mean, it's an F. I know the Raiders' offense didn't play well, but you gave up basically 41 points. 
the first touchdown, sure. Kansas City, and they had a lot of short fields, and I get it. Five turnovers. The Raiders had five turnovers in today's game. However, the Raiders' defense also did not show up. It's an F from top to bottom. I don't know why the Raiders were dancing on the Chiefs' logo. It's bad, man. If you want to dance, go on Dancing with the Stars. Let's go to Million Woods. Should Carr put his house on the market because he will not be in Vegas next year? I mean, if I'm if I'm DC, no, I don't put my house on the market yet because you never know with this organization. Because the one thing that this organization has always showed me is this. They put players' feelings above talent. It's the only reason why Zay Jones is still out on the field. It's the only reason why we've seen certain things happen. Mariota didn't even play today. How is that possible? How in a 48-9 blowout does Mariota not even get on the field? Why? Because this organization, the coaching staff, they play favorites. And then when you play favorites, you act like a bunch of little boys. And I'm not in the business to help little boys. I'm in the business to win football games. Get these guys out of here. Let's go to Leak C. Renz, you highlight of the day with your realness. And, you know, I do a lot of Raiders content, and I get that. And I watch a lot of podcasts. I watch a lot of other Raiders YouTube channels. I, I, I would honestly say there's only one other person in the Raiders YouTube game. Shout out to my man, Graphic Raider. That's a real dude. All these other podcasts, all these other people, like, they just they kiss each other's ass. They do bullshit content. Le Levi, whatever the hell his name is. I mean, he's one of the worst guys I've ever seen in terms of content creation. Hondo Carpenter, he steals all my stuff. You got all these other people. They put out stuff just to kiss ass. That's not what I do, and that's not what Raider Nation does, and that's not what families should do. You should push each other to be better. I'm going to push the Raiders players to be better, and you know what? I'm, I'm going to be real, and if people hate on me for it, that that's fine. What up, Daryl? He just says she. All right, let's go to the next one. What up, Bad Influence 94RS? Do we draft a rookie and keep Carr or sign a veteran like Rodgers or Wilson? But I would tell anybody that has these questions to do, and the reason why I made the video is Derek Carr replacements. Eight quarterbacks, three that we could trade for, five that we could draft. I literally break down. It's a 20-minute video. It's the longest video I've made the entire year about everything I think about removing on from Derek Carr. So please watch it. Let's go to Aggie. Belichick and a hamburger. Reed must have met up before the season and made a pact to give the AFC a head start and then blow everyone out midseason. I don't really know what we're going with this. Um, I get what you're trying to make kind of a joke. I get the fact that Chiefs started out slow, but good teams make an adjustment. Good coaches make an adjustment. Good players make an adjustment. The Chiefs, they have that. Three and four, they've won now six straight games. I don't see them losing another game during the regular season. Now, if you guys haven't already, hit me up on IG, Mitchell Rent 365 If I don't get to your questions, uh, you know, I'm sorry. Today was a wild, wild game, and I'm trying to be animated. I'm trying to have a good time, but now my emotions are definitely starting to take over me a little bit. The other reason to follow me on IG is because even though I don't, I try to put all news, all rumors in videos, excuse me, I will always put the latest news and rumors on my Instagram and on my Twitter at MitchellRen365. So that's another reason to give me a follow. Let's go to Raider209, Iceberg76. Al Davis was the problem for years now, Mark. We blame papers, but the real problem is Mark Davis, how we get rid of Mark. I'm not going to sit here and say the real problem has ever been Al Davis because if I'm being 100% honest with you, I, I wasn't old enough to really watch Al when he was at his highest or at his best, and I wasn't a Raiders fan near the end of his life, so I'm not going to put my words on that. In terms of Mark Davis, I've talked to a lot of people that actually think that Mark isn't that good of an owner, and if he wants to move on from the team, that's up to him to decide, and you know, I'm not really going to get into those logistics, but uh, we'll see. Let's go to Gilbert. If Carr is gone next year, do we still get Devontae Adams? I would pick Wilson over Rodgers because he's drama. Keep Carr. So, like, here's the thing. I actually think Rodgers is still a better quarterback than Wilson. You might be able to get Wilson cheaper because Seattle doesn't have any first-round draft picks. But, yeah, I mean, Carr's gone next year. I mean, I think the more we realize that, the better we start to, you know, move forward. Can you still get Devontae Adams? Of course you can. I mean, Devontae wants to go to a winning team. It's going to pay him a lot of money. If you can pay him a lot of money, cap salary – Space goes up. I mean, you have opportunities to be able to go and do that. 
X-Wing, after the sad loss we had against a no-name team, and again, this had the atrocity to go on the Kansas City logo, only for us to get blown out like that. I think what you see is an immature team. An immature team dances on the opposing team's logo. An immature team is 1-4 after the bye, now 1-5. An immature team says the things that they do on social media, like Damon Arnett tweeting out the gun pictures, this and that. It says the embarrassing things that we've seen, and then you have that type of performance. It's bad coaching. It's bad play. It's bad all around. You can't point the finger at one person. You can't point the finger at just the coaches. This was a top-to-bottom bad performance, and it's time to clean house. Let's go to Wild on 14. Good news. It can't get much worse. Bad news. We are so bad, <laughs> it can't get much worse. Again, I actually don't 100% agree with that. We're so bad that it can't get better. Like, the Raiders are a team to me that they are unmotivated and they have given up. That's what you saw today because you don't go beating a Dallas Cowboys team on Thanksgiving 36-33 to to losing the games that they've lost and losing this bad. To me, it was a team that's given up. And if they want to give up, that's fine. They can give up. All I say to that is then is turn in your paychecks, turn in your jerseys, don't waste my time, don't waste the nation's time, don't waste everyone's time because if you're going to give up, get the hell out of here. Now what I want you guys to do is give me your honest feedback on what you thought of the coaching staff today because I get it. We talk about the offense. We talk about the defense, special teams, all these pieces. It's time that we start talking about the coaching staff a little bit more. So scroll on down in the comments section. Give me your honest feedback on the coaching staff today. Now here's the final four games. The Raiders are 6-7. and seven. What I'm about to say is going to blow your mind. If the Raiders win out, they still have a chance to make the playoffs. It sounds crazy, but the Raiders still have a chance to make the playoffs. Do I think it's going to happen? No, of course I don't. I don't see how you can put faith into a team that's 1-5 in five their last six games. But there is technically, mathematically a chance. So what I want you guys to do is let me know down in the comments section your prediction for the Raiders' final record.